Okay, so continuing on, let's create some data for the application. And to do that, I'll create in the root of the application a file called generate profiles.py. And what I'm going to do, this is just going to generate uh, a list of fake user profiles using Faker, and then that'll be the data that we'll use for the application. So first thing I want to do is say from Faker, import Faker, and then fake equals Faker. And then I covered this in an earlier video, but uh, I'm going to create some data here. Actually, we'll call it profiles. And that's going to be equal to fake.json. And there are two keyword arguments that I'm going to use here. The first one's going to be num rows. And it's going to be 100. So it's going to create 100 of these fake profiles. That'll each be a JSON document. And then the data columns, which is a list of tuples. And the first, in each of them are two element tuples. The first one's going to be the name of a column. And the other one's going to be a the name of a of a method or function inside of Faker that will generate that data. So I'll have a first name, a last name, a username, a password, and an ID. And for the ID, I'm just going to use a, a GUID. And now I can write that to a file. Because profiles will now be a string representing JSON data. And now if I open up my terminal, I can say Python generate profiles. I'll see a new file over here called profiles.json open up. And there we go. To display this data, I'm going to create a new section or a new area of the app. And to do this, uh, Flask uses something called a blueprint. So I'm going to create a new folder inside of my app folder, and I'm going to call it profiles. And then inside of there, I will add an init.py file. So inside of this init.py file, first thing I'm going to do is bring in the resources I need for the blueprint. So that'll be from Flask import blueprint. And also, I'm going to need render template. I'm also going to need to bring that JSON file in. So I'm going to bring in JSON from this Python standard library. And I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll say with open profiles.json for reading as f. And then I'll create db. And I'll use the JSON standard uh, Python standard library JSON module. I'll just say load, not load s. Because load will load will take a file pointer, which I have f, and now that will bring in my JSON and turn it into a dictionary, actually a list of dictionaries in Python. All right, so now let's go ahead and create the blueprint itself. I'm say profiles blueprint, and that's going to be equal to a new blueprint. The name of the blueprint is going to be profiles. Then just like the app, give it name or dunder name. Then a folder for the templates. And I'm just going to use the same one that we already have. Well, if I can spell. There we go. And then a URL prefix. Let me go ahead and put that in there. Slash profiles. Now I can create a route on the blueprint. So, profiles blueprint route, I say slash. Now, this is where the profiles URL prefix is going to come in. And let's go ahead and reformat this. So, what will happen is anything, is any request that comes to a route handled by the blueprint will be prefixed with profiles. So, in other words, this would go for the URL slash profiles. Whereas if I go back over here, this would go to the URL slash. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and create a def index. And for right now, what I'll do is I'll simply return render template. 
and the template's going to be in a, in a subfolder of the templates folder called profiles index.html. And I'm going to want to pass some profiles to that, and that's going to be my database. So I'm just going to get all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and sort those by the last name. And so if I use this key keyword argument and pass it a lambda function, and the lambda function just returns the last name key for the item given to it, then this will sort everything by, this will sort all the dictionaries by the last name. All right. Now what I need to do is go back over to my init.py in, in my app folder, and I need to bring this blueprint in and register it. So what I'll do is I'll say from.profiles, because profiles is a module because it has the dunder init.py file in it import profiles blueprint and then over here after I create the app I'll say app.register blueprint for the the profiles blueprint rather okay I believe that's all that I need I should be able to go over here now run the application all right that's the work but if I go to profiles this is going to cause an error because I don't have the template yet. So I'll go over here to my templates folder. I'll create one called profiles and I'll create a file called index.html. And actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this one here. And instead, I'll say profiles index. Okay, now I should be able to go back over here, refresh this, and there's my profiles index. And that'll just about do it for this video. In the next video, we'll see how to add the RESTful API to the Flask application.